So, the start of our journey is off to a wonderful start. We are on our way to Florida for a 24 hour endurance race on mini bikes, which is awesome. Uh, any excuse to get out of 18 degree Michigan with literally a foot of snow that got dumped on us last night. We are going with our buddy Eddie Sheldon, who uh, has this awesome motorhome. We just dropped our stuff off and now we have to go get the key for it from Eddie's house and take it to and then come back and get it right. and then drive it over to Eddie's house because he's not here yet. And it is just too cold for us to stand around and wait. So we're going to try and do something productive. So this is off to a great start. All right, just got the key. It's alive! That's good. All right, so we got the motorhome backed up the <laughs> this big hill to Eddie's. Now we're gonna get the mini bike, our race car for the week loaded up and a little pit bike quad. And uh, hopefully the roads clear up because everything that we got here last night, they got, they're still getting. So the roads are pretty bad, like all south of us, right where we need to go. So this is gonna be eventful. All right, here is our trusty steed for the week. So this race has uh, a bunch of different like rules or criteria that uh, the bike has to meet. And basically there's only like a, a few different types that you can really use. I mean, it's not really fair. There's a bunch of different types, but they're all very similar. And uh, the main thing we were looking for, because he just bought this like a week or two ago. The main thing we were looking for was a very comfortable seat. And uh, we were hoping to find one with the rear suspension. But most of them that were in the price range we were, he was looking for uh, were all solid frame. But yeah, this thing, considering I believe a lot of this is going to be on dirt, uh, this thing should work really well. It has the knobby tires, um, big tires that we can deflate the air pressure, get a little bit of suspension. This gas tank is actually fake, which is a bummer, so it has this little one down here. But the thing seems to run well. It has an actual headlight. So this thing should be gnarly. Just showing them the race car for the week. Woohoo! <laughs> Loud. <laughs> We're going to stop at the bottom of the hill at Smack's house and I'm going to go get the spare tire and the stage one carburetor kit. Sweet. If we have time, we have time. If we don't, yeah. that run. We should have time. Yeah. So. If not, while he's driving, you and I can be in the back working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, damn, you're done just fucking nuts, foot.
That's it. Head southwest on US 224 West for Noble Lane. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck every gun. Just go this way. Yeah. Head northeast on US 224 East. We're where we're supposed to be. Continue on Liberty Union Road for two miles. Are we? What the fuck? Are you freaking kidding me? Why is that sign facing? Why is all these signs facing the other way? <laughs> Fucking with us. It said fastest route voids closures on US 35. That's one. <sighs> We're in the middle of fucking nowhere and hit a traffic jam. And he's. The guy's in the entire fucking road, isn't he? What little road? He's out there? here in the sunlight trying to figure out where in the fuck am I at? He's got a record in front of him, though. Is it? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Somebody is stuck here, apparently. And I damn near. I don't think we can get around him. I don't know. I'm not fucking sure where the hell the road's at. I'm about to go back and cut another one. It shows we can go over this way. Yeah. But we can can we? I mean, I was talking about just taking it to 118 and then going this way. Yeah, can we get on 118? Looks like it. Fucking Ohio, man. on the highway again. Go for it. Oh, they just fucking stopped right in the damn road.
finally made it to sunny Florida and oh, yeah. touched down. And we're stopping at this little uh, small engine speed shop, I guess you'd call it, to try and pick up some parts before the race. G&D Carts and Parts. This place looks pretty rad. That's a lot faster than yours, ain't it? Yeah. That thing hauls ass. <laughs> now, if I bought a, bought a motor from you. So we might be changing motors. Well, God, I hope the fucking bolt's right on. Yeah, I see a fucking set of racing seats back here. Yeah? yeah. I, I thought you were talking about racing seats oh, for a no. mini bike. No, I was looking at car yeah, seats. Alright, so I think he's got Eddie talked into getting a 212 Predator for it that should just bolt right on. And then uh, we'll probably head to the track or something, try and get pitted. And uh, if he does get it, we'll swap the motor out. Although he said he only wanted like 750 for one of these bikes. Kind of tempted to get one, man. But you should have seen the wheelies he was popping on this thing. <laughs> but I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to get this deal worked out and then we're going to head to the track, hopefully. All right, we just got parked in our spot. About to get everything unloaded and then uh, start working on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> made that look almost difficult. All right, so those bikes I was showing you earlier, we did end up trading our bike for one of them. This is the one that he was racing up and down the street doing wheelies and shit on. So the only thing is we are going to have to work on it a little bit because uh, it's supposed to rain a little bit tomorrow. So we're going to try to mock up this fender on it, which we got some uh, L brackets that we're going to mount it off of this. And then one of the other rules is that we need to have a headlight, at least one, to be legal for competition. So we have these that we're going to try to figure out. I think realistically, we probably just use one of these because this is like an old uh, dirt track, so they have lights here that I'm hoping they'll turn on. But on the other side of the track, there's like an off-road section that isn't lit up. So that's where we'll need the light, really. Our old bike had a charging system, so we were able to run a light off it. This one, these don't have a charging system, so we kind of fucked ourselves on that. But I'm gonna get to work on the bike, and uh, we'll get it all figured out.
the next day. It's race day. We got a driver's meeting in about 10 minutes. What? And then the racing starts half hour after that. Yeah, I said come down to Florida. It'll be nice and warm. It's like 45 degrees here. What kind of idea was this? <laughs> I need uh, somebody to look at their watch, yeah. and in nine minutes, tell me to shut up, because I'm only going ten minutes this time, I promise. <laughs> shut up! Hey! <laughs> Time's up! Look at that! Time's up! <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm looking at everybody. You're going to be doing parade laps at half speed, single file. When I'm comfortable that everybody knows the course and is comfortable with the track conditions, It'll be a rolling start. We'll then drop the green flag, and you are under racing conditions. Now, this is for those of you who are new, just do me a quick favor. Who's never been here before? Raise your hand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Every four hours, so you can figure it out. If we start at 10, the first safety stand down is at 2 p.m., and we do it every four hours, all night long. What we do is red flag the entire course. Everybody comes off. Every four hours, everybody has to come over here to registration and report your progress. The way we're doing that is there'll be a slip of paper. You write your team number and you write your distance and or laps, okay? Uh, Darla prefers laps, okay? So write that down. It'll, there'll be a little thing to put it in and you're good. Yeah, the more math you make me do, the lower your score goes. <laughs> also, those safety stand downs last approximately 20 minutes depending upon weather conditions. So what you'll do is before we go green again, you'll hear the siren. The siren in the PA is a five minute warning that we're about to go green, okay? Only enter the pit, or excuse me, only enter the track through pit here. Normally it's gonna be the one down there, but occasionally we will reverse the course. Because every four hours we alter the course we do something, we change it, we add, we delete, we change things every four hours, okay? So sometimes pit in maybe over here. So just pay attention. Don't blindly go out if you haven't been on the track in a while until you know which direction we're flowing. Sound good? Blind geese, where you at? Woo! All right, I'm pointing them out because everybody, they're the ones to watch for. They were last year's overall winners. Oh, and uh, what's your plan this year? You just gonna go have fun or what? <laughs> there you go. But close on the heels of blind geese is a little team out of Tampa called uh, Deaf Duck. Anybody ever hear them? Uh, we got some Deaf Duck guys, one or two of them being uh, quiet over there. Okay. Uh, rumor has it we had some fellas drove in all the way from Michigan. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's us. <laughs> Hey, we're going to leave it here, too. <laughs> All right, uh, about 10 minutes on the track. Be safe. Let's go for it. Just finished the driver's meeting. Eddie's going to go out first. Um, Pops is uh, one of the volunteers, so he's going to be out there with the yellow flag. And um, I don't know how long any of us are going to last, so we'll see. Looks like people are starting to pile in there. Yep. Yeah, we're yeah I'll be standing at the corner over there. All right. about a half an hour. I don't know how many laps he's done, but Eddie stopped and told my dad that there was something wrong with the throttle, so he should be in here any second. We'll probably get that fixed, and then I got a feeling we're probably gonna swap out and I'll take over driving for a bit. Yeah, so the problem we were having, the throttle was really tight, and uh, there's this little elbow in there that it was just jumped off of. Yeah, it was like that. So we got the bike fixed after just a few minutes of messing with it. The throttle was just too tight at full throttle. It was really fatiguing his hand and wrist. Um, but we got it fixed and Eddie said he felt good and was good to keep riding. 
and honestly he was doing really well. This was a 24 hour race so the smart people who have done it before knew that riding fast and getting great lines wasn't how you win, it's all about laps. And Eddie was sticking with everyone, not getting passed and just getting the laps we needed. Before coming to the pits for that quick repair, I bet we were in the top five. The people who were out there making laps are the ones who were going to win, not the guys with the quickest lap time. So Eddie says he's good to keep riding, we fill the gas and he goes out and rides for about another half an hour. After that, I get all my gear on and I go stand by the track for a quick swap so we can get right back on track. I'm just gonna, he's gonna hop off, I'm gonna dump some gas in there so I can just hop on, get back on track and start making some laps. So I go over there and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And after a while, it dawns on me that I haven't seen Eddie go by in a while. And I'm starting to get really confused and kind of frustrated that I'm standing over there looking like an idiot. And uh, I go back to the motorhome to try and figure out what's going on. And that's when my dad comes and gets me and uh, he tells me that Eddie crashed. And he broke his fucking leg. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, vitals are positive, they're good. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. Positive. And then, can you wiggle your toes for us? Well, are you guys live streaming this? No. <laughs> are you, we, 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 whose idea for us to come down here? Okay, y'all are his people. I'm just yeah, trying yeah, to make yeah. sure his people We're not aware. just some dickheads filming. <laughs> <laughs> For his purposes later. Yeah. <laughs> is, well, when we get back home, to rub it in his face. <laughs> Put a cast on so we strap your ass back on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, not something we really expected, but <laughs> old fast Eddie took a dip and completely broke his right leg. He said he was going in a turn and he caught something weird and his foot slipped off the peg and it just got under him and you could see it wasn't too great. So they're taking him to the hospital and. Uh, all they can really do is just x-ray him and cast him up, drug him up. So I guess I'm going to suit up and head out and make some laps now. Man, when I tell you guys that getting on that bike after just watching my friend break his leg on it was one of the most mentally difficult things I've done in a long time, I'm telling you, it was one of the most mentally difficult things I've done in a long time. Because Eddie's been riding dirt bikes his whole life. Me, I'm a four-wheel guy. I just prefer being in a vehicle of some sort. I, I don't know what it is, I'm just not at home on two wheels on the dirt. Now I've ridden motorcycles on the road for years and years, that's a totally different experience. But we did not drive 1100 miles through the night, through an ice storm, over a mountain on wet roads to come to Florida to be pussies. So I suited up, I got on the bike, and I just started making laps. And this was one of the most rough rides I've ever had. My ass was getting pounded like it was in college. <laughs> but I just kept telling myself, just one more lap. Just one more lap. You can do it. Just one more lap. And by the time I did finally give in and go to the pits to take a break, it had been an hour. So I think we did something like 40, 45 laps there. I don't remember exactly. Uh, and then combine that with about the 40 that Eddie did. We were doing pretty good. All right, just came into the pits. I've been out there for about an hour. <clears throat> oh my God, this is awful. My hips hurt, mostly my hand and wrist hurt. But I figured as the longest the bike's been out there at one time, I figured I should at least come in and check the gas. And she is very low. So it's probably good timing, huh? So we should be pretty close to 100 laps. I have no idea where that ranks us, but my goodness. Break a leg. <laughs>
right, so it's now nighttime. They're changing the track for like the fourth time. Uh, we still put in some laps after Eddie's wreck. Then uh, we ended up packing up the motorhome and going and visited him at the hospital. He's gonna have to have surgery in the morning. They've gotta put some plates in and some screws to fix his leg, which really sucks. So things really got out of hand really fast. But like I said, it's starting to rain. So I think we're gonna call it for the night. Try and get some sleep. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, there's about an hour left in the race. And after everything that happened yesterday, we sort of lost motivation, just hung out. Eddie should be out of surgery and resting right now. We'll go check on him in a little bit, but we're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer, see who wins. Then we'll get things loaded up and go check on him. Well, that's the 24 hours of Le Minis. Glad we weren't in the last eight or nine. Yeah. <laughs> 